If you've ever thought about transferring your NFTs or your crypto into a cold wallet like a Ledger Nano, I'm telling you, you need to watch this video first. Why? Well, let me just show you. What the heck? I am literally frozen out of my Nano Ledger. Like nothing I do will take it off of this screen. It's obviously plugged in, but it just stays here. Holy crap. My, my Ledger Nano literally froze me out. At this point, I mean, I question the legitimacy of not just the Ledger, but all cold wallets. So my thought was, can you really trust any crypto wallets to be secure? Well, stick around because I'm gonna tell you the truth behind the Ledger Nano and whether or not I believe it's, it's actually a good cold wallet. Plus, I've added links below to what I believe to be the best one on the market. Okay, let's, uh, let's get back to it. So obviously, I freaked out a bit. I mean, I searched Google for any issues that matched the same one that I was having, and after visiting so many forums, I, I couldn't find much of anything at all. So then I went to YouTube in hopes to find something, but again, I ran into the same problem. There was just nothing or nobody with the same issue that I was having. At least it wasn't documented. I feared that everything that was on my cold wallet was, was gone, like forever. Forever. Because at this point, everything that was on my Ledger Nano was completely inaccessible. I could not get to it. I tried to find a way to contact Ledger over the phone. And of course, this day and age, you just can't do it. But obviously, I was able to find the next best thing and talk to somebody over a live chat. I addressed them with my concern and they followed up with a case number via email. During our email conversations, they told me to update my Ledger. But they, they just didn't seem to understand. I couldn't because it was frozen. Then they told me to drain the battery and try restarting it. But I couldn't because, again, they didn't understand. The only way my Ledger Nano works is by being plugged into a power source to begin with. So at this point, I was getting really frustrated, but I found out that they thought I had the Ledger Nano X, when in fact, I actually have the Ledger Nano S. They had me take a photo with my Ledger and uh, my name, date, which Ledger wallet I had, and the issue all written down on a piece of paper beside it. Then they had me take a video of myself with a ledger and an ID to also send to them. So although this was a, a, a big hassle, I respected the level of hoops I had to jump through to verify that it was me. Because after all, they are trying to protect me. In the end, my biggest fear literally came true. Everything was gone. To make things worse, this was happening right before the worst crypto winter of our time. The collapse of Celsius, Luna, Voyager, and perhaps the biggest Ponzi scheme in the history of money, FTX. But there is a silver lining here. I had this ledger for years. And over the years, I was always too lazy to figure out how it actually works. So I never actually transferred any assets over. All the NFTs and crypto I had may not have been in a cold wallet, but at this moment in time, they were still safe. Fortunately, after verifying my identity and ownership of the Ledger Nano S that I had, they sent me a new one right away, just in time for the crypto market collapse. This time, I transferred everything onto my Ledger. Despite the mishap of before, I still feel Ledger Nano is a more secure place to store my assets. So all of my holdings are recorded in Ledger Live, and I would assume that having Ledger Live downloaded onto my computer would save me in the event of something like this happening again. So here's the truth. I still trust cold wallets to be the most secure. In fact, Ledger is still the best wallet, and it's why I have linked it below in the description. Because the alternative is worse. If you've been around long enough, then you've heard the saying, not your keys, not your crypto. So do yourself a favor, get yourself a ledger because it is your best bet. If you don't have your assets stored in a cold wallet that only you can access, not on some exchange, you are absolutely at risk. Again, do yourself a favor. Don't be like the old me and think nothing will happen to you because it can. And if you're here long enough, then it will. I hope this was helpful. See you on the next video.